Okay, we're gonna talk about the different kinds of grain that I grind. Um, I grind primarily three different kinds, spelt, soft wheat, soft white wheat, and um, hard white wheat. You could also get hard red wheat. The only difference really is color and the taste a little bit. We don't prefer red wheat. Um, it's a little bit stronger, um, and I really like the um, flavor and the taste of hard white. So, um, I keep these uh, in canisters upstairs, and then I keep my bulk grains downstairs in five-gallon buckets with Gamma Seal Lids. These are about $10. They're very uh, well worth the money. They'll keep varmints and all kinds of whatnot. Children out. Sometimes they keep me out. <laughs> Um, not really. They're, they're pretty easy to get into. Um, so I keep those downstairs and only bring up a little bit at a time so that I don't have all these buckets upstairs. Food grade buckets are good or a bucket that you find a five gallon that you can put a food grade liner in. Now you can buy those on Amazon. Now this is spelt. Uh, I really like spelt. Um, it's, it, it's a very different kind of flour because you need more of it almost. It's very wet even when you're mixing it up. I like it in pancakes and stuff like that. I don't like to make it a whole loaf from just spelt. Usually I'll use half spelt and half hard wheat if I'm going to use spelt, but I really like spelt muffins and spelt pancakes. Um, it's about the same color as wheat, just a little bit more golden. Um, I, I, spelt makes really good pasta too. So this is spelt. You can see the color. And um, it's okay to mix these two grains together. If you try to make a whole loaf out of spelt, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't want to stand up. It wants to... <laughs> it's kind of a lazy kind of flour. Um, it's kind of ornery like that. But anyway, I really like the taste of spelt. It's very inexpensive. Now, soft white wheat, and I've got it labeled so I don't get them confused. Soft wheat um, is good for things like pancakes and muffins. It's a very high moisture content, whereas hard wheat um, is a little bit drier. So you're going to use this in anything that calls for um, pastry flour. Um, it's good in cookies, cakes, and that type of things when I use this. Um, you cannot use soft wheat in, in a yeast recipe. It just does not work well. So um, I keep this upstairs and I make all my pancakes and muffins and uh, cakes and cookies out of it. It's very light in color. And I think it smells good. Um, so there's that. They all pretty much grind the same. And then here's hard wheat. Hard wheat is kind of short. It's, I just think it's very pretty. I buy um, my wheat from Wheat Montana uh, from our Amish store. And it's good for all yeast breads. You can even make your muffins uh, and everything from just this one type of wheat if you want to. The only thing is the soft wheat's going to yield a more tender, light and fluffy cake and cookies and that type of thing. Um, but you can use your hard white wheat and everything. Um, I just prefer to save this for breads, biscuits, rolls, um, anything like that. This is one of, if it's yeast, you want the hard wheat um, to get the best product. So you'll put them through your mill and one cup of grain is about one and a half cups of uh, milled flour. You will probably need a little bit more fresh milled flour um, like I've always said before because it's fluffy when you mill it, um, not compacted like it is if you buy something um, from the store where it gets pounded down in shipping and everything like that. Um, Fred Becker says a general rule of thumb is if it calls for one cup of flour in a traditional recipe, you might need one and a fourth cups of freshly milled flour. So I'm getting ready to make some bread, and these are the grains I use. There are all sorts of things. There's uh, kamut, kamut, kum something, K-A-M-U-T. 
I'm not very good at my pronunciations. There's einkorn, which I'd like to try soon. I have not bought any of that from Tropical Traditions. There's millet. Um, you can mill uh, oatmeal. You can mill beans. You can mill just about anything that you would find a flour for at the store. You can make your own corn for cornmeal. Just remember never to try to meal anything uh, that's oily. You should do that in your food processor or your kicking awesome, um, oh my gosh, I just forgot the name of it. What is that thing? Blendtec in your kicking awesome Blendtec. Um, and there are, if you don't have a meal, look on Pinterest or online for lots of recipes that call for whole berries that you can make the batter in your blender, um, your Blendtec, um, where you just meal it and it, those are my children, that you just uh, put in there and you uh, blend until it makes um, batter. So that's about it. If you have any questions about different kinds of grains, just leave them in the comments and I'll see what I can do for you.